I just finished part B of my blanket, which was the design. So it says programmed stop. And this happened on row 1422. The pattern showed I knit part B, 1400 rows, ending on row 1422. It is now time to knit part C, the tubular hem to match the beginning of the blanket so the end and beginning match. I don't go back to sector zero because I don't want to have to program all over. So I put the same technique, technique eight, in sector one. And this is going to be knit a little bit different. So I showed a, a bigger diagram of this. Okay. What is going to happen in part C is that I'm going to knit 18 rows on stitch size six and a half, six and a half, and stop on row 1440. I mean, 18 rows. Then I am going to knit four rows on stitch size eight over eight which would just add four more rows or stopping at 1444. For lesson purposes, I'm actually gonna set the stops. In reality, I just knit the four rows and manually stop. Then this stitch size eight over eight will going from one stitch size, six and a half to eight, will cause a crease or a marking line on my tubular hem. This makes it easier to in assembly because I'm actually going to tuck the last 16 rows of the tubular hem inside the 18 rows and the finishing line will actually be those four rows of the crease, stitch size eight and eight, where I either sew or link the blanket together. And I will show that in a separate place. After stitch, after C, I'm done with the blanket and I will go to part D, which is my transition rows, which I will do separately. Part D is in sector nine and it's technique 30 and it consists of six rows. Part C, knitting it. Knit sector one, enter. It tells me to knit two rows previous so that it can set up sector one. I say yes, enter. So it's ready to go get color two to knit the two rows previous. Go. Now it tells me I'm going to be knitting part C with only color one in the feeder. So I actually go up and under the color changer and click this lever. didn't see that. Click this flap to release the colors and now you see that no color is no color is 
pushed in and I want to just push down color feeder one. When it comes over, it'll put away feeder two. So I did that, I say go. It again stops. It tells me I'm still on LX, LX. My racking handle is down, but now I'm going to change the stitch size. Control stitches reminds me to go to six and a half on both beds. I did that, so I say enter. Well, I, I have to hit the down arrow because there's a plus sign because it says according to the diagram. Now I say enter, and I have to remember to set the rows. Hit the down arrow to get down to set the rows to stop on 1440 or 18 rows later. It's going to be knitting technique eight. It's gonna go get feeder one. I hit go. It wants to know if I want to change the stitch size again. I don't, so I just say go. It thinks this is a cast on, so it, it stopped to make sure to tell me that I turn the racking handle up because it's a tubular cast on, but I do not do that because I don't, the whole blanket I leave with the racking handle down. It's not gonna make any difference. Go. Now this is the little tricky part because I'm going to show you how how I do the crease or the stitch size eight eight manually. First, I change only the front bed to eight because I don't want to break any stitches. It's not going to be knitting on the back bed. It's knitting a tube front bed back bed a circle. And so I put the front bed on stitch size eight. I only want to knit one of the four rows. So I push this button, which tells it to stop at the end of this row. And I say, go. Now I go and change the back bed to stitch size eight so it can knit just on the back bed. You can see that the pushers or the jacks are down, meaning it won't knit on this bed, but it will knit on the back bed because they're up. Go. And I'm going to knit four rows. This is three. I want it to stop after row four. So I hit that, that key when it was on the left-hand side, so it stopped after my row four. Notice I am 
on row 1444, but I did not go through the procedure of setting the row counter to stop because of the way I wanted to do stitch size eight only on the front bed and then only on the back bed. So now I'm ready to do the last rows, which was 16 rows back on stitch size six and a half. I changed the front bed to six and a half. I changed the back bed to six and a half. And this time I will set my rows to stop. Remember to set to use the down cursor to get to the last part and set it to 1460, which is the end of the blanket. And enter. Now you just hit go again. It'll knit the 16 rows. And it stopped on program stop so I can do my transition row. I am for your purposes, you would never do this, but I am going to slightly with this lever, lower the bed a little bit, just so you can see this is a tube. See, you can, you can stick a ruler in there. That's a tube. So the top half above the crease will fold back down into the lower half. I'm going to carefully raise the bed again. You would never do that in a knitting. I am going to make sure my needles are all back down so I don't drop any stitches on both beds. And then I will continue on with part D.